morning, vlogsters. Oh, I'm so crooked. Whatever. It's time to wake up. Ah, wake up. <sighs> it's a beautiful day. Um, today is Wednesday. I don't know, maybe you'll be watching this on the day that today's Wednesday. I am feeling excited to be productive. I finally have everything that I need in the middle of October. No, it's not really. Today's October 7th, 2020. Um, Jim has just headed off to work. He is... Um, he really likes his job. He just wish it was more hours and made more money. But I will be honest with you, if it was more hours, he might not want to like it so much. Um, but the making the money part is probably the biggest. Um, I have been itching to create for some time now. And it's starting to like... Just do it, you know, like that. Um, well, I just wanted to come on this morning and say hello to everybody. Uh, talk a little bit about um, tough love, I'm guessing. Maybe that will be what this is really about. And maybe it'll start being about that and go off into various different directions. But... Um, first I wanted to tell you, if you watched the coffee chat from the other day, my shoulder, this shooting pain comes from like the back of my neck down the back of my shoulder blade. It's, it's, he helps, um, it's not cold in here. It's like cold in here, but I have like this heat wrap that goes in the microwave that, um, is actually weighty. So it's like the combination of the weight and the heat really just does help, but it's really just like one of those, like you just move it a certain way and I couldn't do my... Oh, like that, like that. Um, I had to br trouble brushing my hair and do my ponytail. So now even lifting this arm makes that one hurt. Ugh. And I try and doing all of my stretches to try to strengthen the muscles around it or do whatever. It's like, you know. And you can hear it cracking and popping. It's really gross. But anyhow, that's the progress of my shoulder. My shoulder. Sometimes I sound like I'm from New York really hard. Sometimes my New York accent really comes out. And sometimes I'm like, I, and, and often I speak as though I've lived in the Midwest my entire existence. No, I'm just kidding. That's not true. Janie, my sister Janie seems to think that, but I don't know. Nobody else does. <laughs> mm. Anyhow, anywho, as my as my mom used to say, and my nan, my nan before her. Um, tough love is sort of like it's a delicate thing, you know. We we want to say, I'm here for you. I understand, but you got to do what you got to do or whatever form of the tough love might come in, but it's really difficult. Like I, I don't always respond to it um, very well. In fact, I often don't respond to it very well. I think I had a lot of tough love growing up and in hindsight I probably just needed more love love <laughs> um a little less tough love and a little more love love now this this will also you know my different family members we all grew up in the same household and we all received tough love and how did we all respond to the tough love that type of thing um everybody is different how you respond to it is different how I'm gonna respond to it and it's different how Jim's going to respond to it and so on and so forth. So, you know, like tough love is really important to motivate some people. But I think that sometimes love, 
even tough love has to be a low grumble as opposed to a loud shout, if that makes any sense. Maximum encouragement. That's what we talked about at AHRC. We used to be like, I had to give maximum encouragement, which is just like borderline of telling them they have to do it. <laughs> maximum encouragement is given and sometimes that works and sometimes it's just like look i have sat down with these on my desk five times already i have these i have that i have everything that i need right now and then just sometimes that little bit of like oh, i just can't I just can't do it takes over that overwhelming sense of just can't I'm not gonna do it um it's kind of hard I mean it's not kind of hard it's hard it's rough it's it's doing what you need to do what you can do what you have to be doing you know like oh there's all these levels it's like I know I have to be putting content out there and I know that I should be putting out creative content like crafting and I know that I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I've mentioned this a thousand times and I sound like a broken record but I've got so much content already filmed that just to even vlog this vlog I had to like delete some raw footage of of other stuff uh, offload i should say not delete but offload some other footage just to have room to vlog this morning that's how much content is on my half of a terabyte of phone it just takes the the uh, see the drive isn't even the work because the word because drive Drive is in my spirit. I have the spirit to create. I have the spirit to be successful. I have the spirit to do it. It's... I don't know what I'm saying. Is it the willingness? Is it the... It's not the willingness. Is it the motivation? Not the motivation. It could be the motivation... It could be, you know, these are the things that I want, but I I don't see them happening, so why bother? Like, it could be that whole thing. Um, that has never stopped me before. I like to share my journey with you all, because I don't want to come on here and be like, this is complaint rock, or this is just like, I, you know... In the, in the past, I've always just done it. Um, it may hurt, it may make me tired, but I would just still do it. You know, like I knew I needed to do it. I could muster up the energy. Even if I had to do it slowly over the course of time, it just I knew I could do it. And I just don't know that now. I know that all of you have given me great, beautiful, positive messages that I can do it. You can do it. But I will tell you that there's a comes a point where you're like, you have got to believe it yourself. And I say this not just for myself and what I'm going through now, but I say this to you. Because I often get messages that I you make it look so easy or you, I could never do that or I could never do that. But honestly, you can i mean my muscles inside my fingers work exactly like the muscles inside your fingers i mean unless you don't have arthritis and then your muscles and your fingers work better i'm just saying so like it's just practice it's perseverance it's educating yourself that's why i know you come here to educate yourself and i forgot i don't have my headphones in so this whole first nine minutes sorry about that that whole first nine minutes might be like uh i'll see in the editing i'll change it but 
I know you come here for motivation. I know you come here to be educated and in, in the technique. As I was, ah, oh. I can't vlog. <laughs> oh, that really hurt. I can't move. As I was educated. by teachers before me, as I learned, then I teach type of thing. Not all educators are in a formal setting. Um, some are in your life, you know, like your parents or grandma or your aunt or uncle, a sister, cousin. Not all of them are educators in a, in a classroom setting. Some educators are here on YouTube. Some educators are on television. Sorry about that. Nope. Sometimes even the slow, careful movements. Sometimes even the slow, careful movements are uh, are very painful, <laughs> like aren't successful. It really hurts. Um, anyway, so sometimes our education is in the formal setting. Sometimes our education is here on YouTube or on television like PBS or HGTV or whatever, wherever you get your creative education from. Um, I think practicing. I've heard so many from some from so many of you um, about how you've improved just by practicing and just learning different things and taking into different directions. So I know it's possible if you I don't want to say if you allow it to be that's just silly, but if you if you dedicate yourself a but you know enough. Um, I know that seeing things. I don't want to say open-mindedness because that's taken on such a, like a political connotation, but literally like seeing things that you're going to create for exactly what they're made of and how you break them down than what you think they're made of and what you think they're broken down to. I know I mentioned this in the past. Um, one of the techniques we learned was to draw an image. Like if you're going to copy an image to draw it upside down because you see shapes instead of actually seeing like a person's face or a bowl of fruit. You'll actually follow the lines and you'll follow the colors and you'll follow the contour because your brain has to work out, oh yeah, that's a bowl of fruit as opposed to it's, it's three arches and this 
tinge of red brown like red brown oh that's an apple you know like whatever it is you see it for what it is and not for what your mind makes it up to be is what i'm saying because if i asked everybody here to like say draw a clock you know we would have two thousand versions of a clock no two would be the same but if i gave you a picture of a clock and i said copy this clock or draw this clock we might get one or two that are the same because people see it for what it is, not for what they think it's supposed to be, if that makes any sense. Hopefully that does. I don't know why this started out as tough love and ended up being like a lesson in art. <laughs> but um, there is just some times where I, um, I, I just, I don't want to but I want to. And it's not like, like losing weight. So you're like, oh, I don't want to go on a diet, but you know you have to go on a diet, so you go on a diet. It's more like, it's more like, um, saving money without a purpose. And you really don't have to save money. You should save money. You could save money. But you really don't have to save money. Um, it's kind of like that. You know, when you have the opportunity every time to turn down the thing, whatever it is, then sometimes you choose to. Um, yeah. I'm just a mess. <laughs> I'm a beautiful disaster, just like, just like Kelly, Kelly, uh, wow, Kelly Clarkson said all those years ago. Mm. I think I'm going to end this coffee chat a little early because I think I'm going to go put that pack on my shoulder. I really, I really was coming in here to work today so crazy it's so crazy how this is happening to me you know like i'm not gonna think about it i'm not gonna think about it because then i'm just uh, i'm trying to learn the purpose of why everything's happening the way it's happening and i've got to stop doing that and just listen to the message and understand the message i'm gonna start a new bible study on my on my uh you version app because i really felt like the last two were really powerful they really meant something to me i also come from a different generation i realized recently that other than sharon and possibly lisa i just feel like even though i am a in a generation there are so few people that actually have the same experiences that's dumb everybody has their own experience who can relate who are as relatable i guess is what i'm saying and i guess that's one of the reasons we stick with our um where our, our best friends um because even our sisters like I have so many experience, shared experiences with my sisters, but my sisters have their own experience as far as where they landed in the family dynamic and everybody's experience in the family dynamic is different. Um, so it's not even like we have shared stories and shared histories, but where we, like our shared experience is not really always the same experience. Um, I'm also the only person in my family born in the 70s. My brothers and sisters were all born in the 60s and Rob was born in the 80s. Even my sister that my mother had a stillborn, she was born in the 60s. So I'm the only 70s holdout. In fact, all of my cousins that I grew up with, the Gainers, they were all born in the 60s and 50s. And I have... Let's see, I have one, 
two, three, four. And I only have four. I'm I'm one of five cousins on my mother's side of the family that were born, <clears throat> excuse me, in the 70s. Out of the 23 grandchildren, only five of us were born in the 70s. It's so like when you look at numbers like that, it's like, oh, weird, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm unique. <laughs> Um, so I, in some situations, do not respond very well to tough love. I don't try to give tough love because I don't respond well to tough love. So, like, even when it comes to Jim and his health and, I, and stuff like that, I say to him, I'm like, I'm not enabling you by saying that, uh, you could do this or you should do that or you or, or maybe you should try this if it's unhealthy for you. I'm not trying to enable your negative behaviors or I was like I'm just trying to say don't take it off the table if you feel like it's gonna make your life better in the long run or in the moment. I guess I guess sometimes some people need a cheat Sunday. Let's just put it that way. Some people need a cheat day. Uh, some people absolutely cannot have a cheat day because then they have a cheat week and then they have a cheat month. And it's not necessarily calling it a cheat day, but you know, so like on keto, some people call it a cheat day. Some people call it carb day. Some people call it um, keto reset. You know, like uh, what you do is you carb up so that you can reset yourself back into ketosis the next day and get like that little oomph. But for Jim, you know, hey, look, if you were, if you have limited yourself from gallons to ounces and ounces is working, you know, then then allow yourself to have the ounces. Not everybody works on cold turkey. Just try to have some self-control. That's really what it's all about, really. Um, so that's what I told him. I was like, he was, when he went to the doctor, he was like drinking 20 ounces of Mountain Dew a day. And the doctor was like, can you cut it down to 16? You know, and I was like, I can give him maximum encouragement, but I do not want to make him feel like I'm trying to control him or that my love is tough. You know, I just remind him of the benefits and the negative side effects. And this is my job as his wife. I want to see him around for a long time. I want to see him, I want him to be with me for a long time. Hey, are those black and green? That's so random. I thought some of them were black and they kind of look like it. They kind of look like these two in the back. Let's get some glasses on, shall we? Yeah, actually, it looks like this one here. It looks like this one here is black. But I don't know. They all have like the Halloween thing on them. Yeah, that looks black. I mean, some of these look black too, but... That's what I do. There we go. Um, thank you again for your generosity. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> um, I think if you're going to make a big change like that you have to know how you respond to change Jimmy definitely has an addiction and the reason I say that I have an addiction too so it's not like I'm trying to point out he's addiction and I'm not or he has an addiction and I don't he has an addiction because when he doesn't have the item 
all of the I all of the benefits of the item are replaced. The caffeine has been replaced. Even the sugar has been replaced, but it's not Mountain Dew. His mood. So we could say, okay, well, he's his mood's changed because he's no he doesn't have caffeine, or his mood has changed because he doesn't have any sugar. But those things have been replaced. It's just that physical Mountain Dew. It's like that physical drink, and. I don't know where I'm taking this vlog. This is just crazy. I said I was gonna go 10 minutes ago almost. And then I started talking about more stuff. I mean, I don't know. I need help. <laughs> I do. Um. Anyhow, <laughs> hi. Welcome to my brain. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause that, that's what I'm saying. Anywho. How about you guys? How does tough love fit into your heart? Are you one who responds to it or are you one who shuts down from it? Um, I am curious. I wanted to let you guys know too that the comments are set for approval and I don't always approve them because um, I have to read them to approve them and then if I read them and even if I approve them then I, I don't go back and reread them and like them. So it's just like this weird thing I'm trying to balance plus it's really hard to read the comments. Even on the computer, I can't make the the font bigger on the computer for certain things. So it's like, what are you seeing? All right, I'm gonna go make some breakfast. Maybe I'll just have leftovers today or something. I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do. Why do you guys come by here and just like, do you have friends that you just come by and be like, listen, Jer, listen, listen. I appreciate the coffee. The chatter is amazing, but you're rambling today. Today is just the ramble day. <laughs> you know what? I miss my light. I do. I miss my light. And I know that there's a fake it till you make it kind of a thing and I can... I feel like if I could just pretend to just be like, oh, everything's so happy and I'm back to normal. And it's like, I think we have a better relationship than that. <laughs> I felt like we did anyway. I want to be encouraging. And I hope this is encouraging. Hopefully this is encouraging to somebody who is going through the same thing. You're not always going to be perfect days. Can you get perfect moments out of each day? Yes, 100%. Can you find time to smile, find something to smile about? A hundred percent. Don't feel guilty for laughing or smiling. That's another thing that's important. Sometimes as soon as I'm done smiling, I'm like, oh God, how am I smiling at a time like this? Many people have said that this isn't what my brother would want me to live my life like this. And I don't honestly know. I could say I agree, but I don't know. Nobody does. Nobody does. I could hope that's not what he would want. So there's that. Um, what is that? Oh, it's this mark. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I could hope that's what he wouldn't want for me, but I don't know. I could tell myself that, and then that's just more faking it till I make it, right? I think part of it I wanted to tell everybody is like, I wanted to remind everybody that my not crafting was not just from my brother passing or from my personal struggles with my, with my home life. This has gone back way before. I mean, I did craft 
for my birthday party, but my vision is, my eyesight's really becoming an issue. Um, editing, even though I can still create, can I like make videos? You know, that's the hard part. Uh, things are out of focus, things are shaky, things are off the shot because I can't see what I'm doing sometimes. Um, if you're interested, I have to go for fourth sets of shots because the first three will not, um, did not do it. Let's put it that way. I know that one day when I was in New York, I had a carb day. <laughs> And I really shouldn't have. Like, I, I kept telling everybody while I was there, like, I don't do keto. And I'm not really doing keto, but, you know, I don't do keto to lose weight. I do keto so I don't go blind. Like, that was my vision the whole time. And I'm like, that's why I'm... Don't shrug your shoulders. But I did allow myself to have one day where I... I didn't even go crazy like, oh, let's have lots of, let's like have all the desserts. It was like, I knew that a bacon and egg on a roll was not going to be good for me. And I went ahead and I had it anyway. Um, because there's just some levels of comfort food that you just need to treat yourself to once every seven years, I guess, is like kind of thing. Um, you know, like that. Even, even the, so that's the, the day that I did carbs was the day that they had all the food, uh, after the service and stuff. And there was carbs there that I didn't pick. Like I didn't have a dinner roll. I saved whatever carbs that I was going to use for the meal for some dessert. Like, cause I prefer sweets over bread. Like I didn't have any of the pasta. I had eggplant parmesan. Now there's carbs in eggplant parmesan, but that's like, that's what I'm saying. So there's a lot less carbs in eggplant parmesan than there is in rigatoni alla vodka, because that's all just rigatoni. So that's where I decided like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Now I did have uh, part of the six foot hero. What's really the bread ring, but I, that's beside the point. Um, but what I did actually was one of them had grilled chicken on it. One of them had fried chicken on it. And I ate the grilled chicken one with the bread. And it was like, the bread was like this big. Like, a, I'm saying it's like a triangle shape. So it's like this piece, bigger bread. And then I ate the other one that had bread crumbs. I didn't have the bread. I didn't have like a sandwich. I just ate chicken out of it. So, I mean, even making bad choices, I was making better choices than I could be. Like, I could have just went full force and just... I could have, you know, and I think that's important even with yourself. So tough love, if you allow yourself your grace, if you try to, even when you're going to make bad decisions, if you don't make the worst decision, I think that's partly, um, that's also a good thing too. So I did my blood work on Monday. I took... My appointment for the doctor was on the 24th. September 24th was my doctor's appointment. The first appointment I could get at the lab was October 5th. So me and Jimmy went on October 5th. I got to stop talking because I got to go put that on now because it's really starting to hurt. Um... So we did our lab work. I did a urinalysis. That whole thing was kind of funny, but um, we'll see how it goes. And when we get our results back, we'll let you guys know. Um, hopefully the doctor will get the results and give us a call and let us know. Like, um, I have such an itch. Um, to let us know how everything is and if we need to change our medications or whatever, so. Um, but we have a follow-up, uh, in December. So, there is that. We'll wait for that. But that's it, everybody. Uh, I love you. Thank you for listening to me just gibber and be in pain. <laughs> oh my god, it hurts so bad. I gotta laugh. 
And as always, you guys take care. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Now, oh, oh, now, how do we turn the camera off? How do we, how do we? So you can't ask Siri because Siri won't work with the camera on. I mean, work with the camera on, but it won't work with the videotape on. I think I'm going to have to just reach up and do it, huh? Oh, how about forward and pull you down? There you go. Let's do that.